You can make or break a video by the way you structure it. Have you ever been watching a YouTube video and the person just goes on and on without getting to the point? Or maybe the video is going strong and then it just takes a turn in a really weird way. We've all been there, but thankfully we don't have to stay there. Today I'll be talking through some power tips to help you structure your videos strong so that you can start seeing an increase in your watch time, views, and subscribers. I like to treat my videos kind of like a five paragraph essay. Five paragraph essays have a thesis statement, three to five supporting points, and a conclusion. So when it comes to my videos, I have a thesis, which is the intro, I have my three to five supporting points, which is the body, and I have a conclusion, which is the ending. Intro, body, ending. These are the three parts that make up pretty much all of my videos. Let's break them down, starting with the intro. Intros are the first few seconds of your video. When you have a video idea, one of the first things you should do is actually sit down and try to write out your intro. It will help steer the ship to determine where the video is going. You should use this time to reinforce your title and thumbnail, ensuring your viewers that they have arrived at the right place. Do this by addressing the topic of the video and bringing the attention back to the viewer. Talk to them and let them know how this video will impact them. This is where you can hook the viewer. You can use psychology to pose a question that will be answered if they keep watching. You could show highlight moments of what's to come. You can introduce a cliffhanger that creates mystery and curiosity. You can use a before after to show the results that your video will help them get. The point is to get the viewer excited about the transformation that will occur in them if they continue to watch your video. Once you get clear on your intro, the body of the video will be a lot easier to make. The body is the meat of the video. It's where you deliver on what the intro has promised. There are many ways to do this, but today I'm just going to share how I typically do it. I love to come up with three to five points to guide my video. Take my most popular video for example. In my intro, I show a quick before after transition. This shows the result you can expect to achieve if you watch the video, which helps hook the viewer's attention. Then I go into the body, which consists of four points key light, fill light, rim light, and practicals. I explain each of these steps one at a time. Then I conclude the video with an ending, which is typically a call to action. This simple but clear structure is part of this video's success. Let's take a look at another example. This is a camera review video. You'll notice a similar structure. I have the intro to help hook your attention by introducing concern and curiosity. Then I have sections for the body, pros, the cons, real world example, and final thoughts. Then I end it out. See, one of those videos is a tutorial while the other is a review but they share the same structure. It's simply breaking up what I want to say into more bite-sized sections. This also helps with repurposing content into shorts. Unfortunately, I see a lot of creators neglect the ending of their videos. I think because it comes last, it tends to be an afterthought. People will trail on, talk about way too many things, do the wrong types of call to action or just abruptly end it. A better method is to pitch your next video. Think about what your current video is about and see if there's another video in your content library that would make a logical next step for the viewer. Then simply pitch it. This could take their singular view and help turn it into a session, which is where they're watching multiple of your videos. After doing this a few times, you will create a chain of videos that keep recommending each other. You become your own 24 seven salesman, constantly pitching viewers on why they should keep watching your content. It's a powerful technique that can also help bring life to older content. 
Now, in just a moment, I'm going to share some practical power tips. But before we do that, I want to take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor and how I use them to help structure my videos. Motion VFX is an incredible platform where I get tons of cool and creative effects for my videos. They've got awesome titles, transitions, visuals, and more. I actually use their plugins to help create transition points within the structure of my videos. This helps me transition sections in my video while making it easy and cool for the viewer to watch. The best part about Motion VFX is their drag and drop plugins allow you to get awesome animations without needing to be a motion graphics expert. They've got plugins for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, and Premiere Pro. I've been using Motion VFX for a long time, way before I started my YouTube channel back when I was doing client work and it is a joy to partner with them on this video today. If you're interested, you can check them out at the link in the description below. After making tons of videos, here are a few power tips that I've learned when it comes to structure. Clear is better than cool. Keep it direct and don't do flashy if it distracts. Nothing matters more than what you are actually saying. Think of it like this. You could have the highest quality setup, the best music, the coolest style, but if you were to take all of that away and simply just have text and you were to read what you were saying, does it still have impact? Words create worlds, and this is why scripting is so powerful. Stop trying to find your video in the edit. Find it in the planning before you ever hit record. Then find creative surprises in the edit without sacrificing the main substance of your video. While scripting, read back your video and time it. This way you can get a feel for how long it is and where you may wanna cut some things out. But don't cut the fluff too much to the point where you cut you out of it. Try to intentionally add moments where you can be fun and show your personality. When done well, it's not going to waste the viewer's time. It will actually help them feel more connected to you as a creator. Always keep the viewer in mind and don't be afraid to get a little deep. Ask yourself, what type of transformation is my content bringing the viewer? And I get it, it's a lot. Why go through all of this extra effort? Well, I do it because I want to honor the viewer's time. If someone is taking time out of their day to click onto my video, I want it to be an amazing experience for them. I work hard at the structure of my videos before I even film them to keep them as concise and value adding as possible. Plus, it makes it way more efficient for me when it comes to actually creating them. This is one of the reasons I've been able to become a full-time creator. You've got to treat your channel as a business, and the way you structure your videos is a form of customer service. From the moment that a casual viewer encounters my title and thumbnail, I want it to be a great experience for them. That experience continues as they watch the intro, get hooked into the body of the video, and are compelled to keep watching with the ending. This whole structuring thing is really just a way of thinking. And I'm sharing this thought process with you because I've seen it work for me and I want you to win. So next time you go to create a video, try taking at least 10 minutes to sit down and think through the structure of what you're about to make. That little extra bit of thoughtfulness can make all the difference. Structuring your videos like this is a really strong way to set your channel up for success. But this didn't come to me naturally. I actually learned this the hard way by ruining over 100 videos. To find out the fix and how I saved my channel, continue on to this video here. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Peace.